Hello friends, today we are going to learn how to find the units digit in the below exponential form. Okay, so this number seems to be very large and if you want to find out what's the answer of 4137 to the power of 754, it would be very difficult to find out the answer, right? But here, we do not need to find out the answer of this exponential form but we need to find out what will be the units digit in that answer so without finding out the whole answer there is a shortcut method which we can use to find out what will be the units digit so there are two steps first note down these number and find out units place in this number and that is 7 so the first step is we need to find out the frequency of this 7 we'll see now what is this frequency means and how to find out this frequency so in order to find out the frequency put down the 7 as we are finding out the frequency of 7 put down the 7 and give it a rank as 1 now uh, we need to start a series of multiplication by 7 7 7 is 49 whatever answer is there give it a rank as 2 eliminate 4 again multiply by 7 9 7 is 63 whatever the answer is give it a rank as 3 eliminate 6 again multiplied by 7 answer is 7 3 is a 21 give it a rank as 4 eliminate 2 and again multiplied by 7 so we need to continue this series of multiplication until we get the same answer as we started so here we again got 7 so if practically if you continue these series of multiplication by 7 from here you will get the same answer again 9 3 1 right so we have to stop here and once we get the same 7 you need to give uh, the previous rank which we have given as a 4 as 0 and whatever we got here is frequency so frequency of 7 is 4 that is 1 2 3 and 4 it means that after 4 number of series multiplication this number will be repeated again so the frequency of 7 we found out as 4 now in the second step we need to divide these exponent that is 754 by this frequency so in the second step 7 54 divided by 4 4 runs of 4 4 it's uh, 32 and again 4 it's uh, 32 and we got the final 2 as a reminder and now note down this reminder and compare these reminder with our frequency so at second rank we have 9 as answer okay so our final answer is 9 so in this way the units place in the answer of these exponential form will be 9 now let's take another difficult exam so now we will see how to find out the units digit for 
is complicated multiplication okay so in this uh, multiplication we will first find out the units place for this exponential form here and uh, this exponential form here then we will multiply them together to find out the final answer okay so for this exponential form the units place for this number is 8 so we need to find out the frequency of 8 so the process is same as previous put down 8 give the rank as 1 multiply it by 8 8 8 uh, 64 eliminate 6 give a rank 2 multiply it by 8 8 for the 32 give the rank as 3 eliminate 2 eliminate 3 Again multiply by 8, 8 to the 16, give rank as 4, eliminate to 1, again multiply by 8, you'll get 8, 6, 48. If we eliminate 8, we have this number repeating now. So whatever the fre previous frequency is, we need to put it as 0. Okay? So here have a frequency of 8 that is four numbers of frequency now uh, divide this 155 by this frequency that is 4 so 4 3 is a 12 35 8 4 is a 32 and Reminder is 3. Compare this reminder with our frequency and we have at third frequency 2. So the answer is 2 here. The unit place for this exponential form is 2. In the same manner we need to find out the unit place for this exponential form. So for this number unit place is 7. And the frequency of 7 we need to find out with the same process. We we'll find out quickly. 1, 2, 3, 4. The number is repeating, so I'll give it as a 0. Uh, so the frequency of 7 is 4 and we need to divide this 193 by this frequency 4 ok so 4 for uh, 16 8 for the 32 compare this reminder with our frequency and at 1 as we have the uh, reminder 1, we will compare it with 1, that is 7. So the next place for this exponential form is 7. Now multiply these two together to get 14. And the final unit place is 4. So the final answer is 4. 4 will be the unit place for this complicated multiplications answer okay let's take another uh, easy example so now let's find out the units place for this subtraction okay so we need to find out the units place for this exponential form then this exponential form and subtract them together to get the final answer okay here for this only uh, single digit is there so we will consider this as a unit place 7 we need to find out the frequency of 7 that we already did in the previous example ok so instead of wasting time I just wrote it down here frequency of 7 is 4 hmm? now uh, first for this exponential form we need to divide this 95 by 95 by 4 so 4 to the 8 
and 4 3 is a 12. Compare these with our frequency and third number of uh, frequency we have 3. So the unit's place for 7 to the power 95 is 3. In the same manner 7 to the power 58. Frequency of 7 we already got it. So divide 58 by 4. Of 4, 4, 4, 16. Compare this reminder with our frequency that is 2. So at the second frequency we have 9. So the unit's place for this 7 to the power 58 will be 9. Now we need to subtract uh, 9 from 3. Right? So in general, what we do, we take uh, 10 from the previous digit in the subtraction subtraction form 3 minus 9 we generally do we blend 10 from the left digit and 10 and 3 13 30 minus 9 is 4 so the answer is 4 so the unit space for these Subtraction is 4. Here I try to put the frequency of all single digit numbers. Uh, you can see from the first row that the frequency of 1 is 1, the frequency of 2 is 4, frequency of 3 is 4, frequency of 4 is 2. It means that after two numbers of series multiplication, the number will be repeated. You can see the uh, from the arrow uh, that 4 is repeating itself after 2 multiplication, 2 series multiplications. In the same manner, the frequency of 5 is 1, the frequency of 6 is 1, for 7 it's 4 as we find out uh, in the video itself. Frequency of 8 is 4 and uh, the frequency of 9 is 2. So you can refer this table instead of uh, finding the frequency of each and every time. Thank you. I hope you like the video. Please share it and post your valuable comments in the below comment box. If you want to find out some more videos, please visit this YouTube channel. And do not forget to press the subscribe button here to get the future updates. Thank you.